Nation. How are you? How are we? Lovely to see you, my darlings. My name is Fumi De Salovold. And my name is Christina Ajayi. <laughs> you are so very welcome indeed. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, it's such a pleasure to have you on the show. So before we start with the pleasantries and unpleasantries, Christina, you're looking fabulous. That necklace, ooh. Thank you. Ooh. Zara, as we know. Yes, 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 yes. The bespoke detachable sleeve is my brand. I do live and love. It's coming out very soon. I do live and love. So if anybody wants, DM a lady. DM Christina. And the dress is ASOS. Darling, you're living for this ASOS. You're doing one or two things with this ASOS. ASOS. And I'm not mad at you. Darling, I am just wearing a beautiful shirt that I got from H&M. Is this and just, H &M? It's h and It's H&M. I love the blue. You know what happened, I tell you. My button bust at my bust. Oh my God. I was, I, of course, I was going for a meeting. Ooh. Not that I couldn't have fixed it. It ripped. I had to get a shirt fast. So you found yourself so in H&M. I, I found myself in H&M and I've loved this ever since. I live for it. And this is just like a simple, beautiful wrap, African kind of skirt. I, I like just said, that. Let me just wear because it. it's blue, blue, blue. Yes. That's right. And your earrings, where's that from? These are Zara. Oh. These are Zara. Zara, Zara, Zara. I'm a Zara ambassador. Wow. I should be putting all of this down. Hello, excuse me. But you know, I told you, I'm only going to put stuff that I like, mm. you know. So I'm going to put some stuff for you this weekend that I live and I love. And we're going to have a couple because they love, so cool. they love the Instagram, yes. um, they, they, they love the Instagram fashion deeds. And guys, I do them right here. Yeah, I found a spot that I like, that you guys like. Very clean background. Yes. And so I can walk out giving you one or two things. <laughs> Needless to say, let us come right back to what is at hand. Today's episode is a continuation. Do you remember about a week or two ago, a lot of you had sent me DMs about this girl that had been hit on the face by a guy who threw a brick at her. Apparently, she had turned him down because he asked for her number. She said no. And so he took a break. Boom. And she was so upset. She was so mad because there were so many guys there. Nobody did anything. So a lot of you sent me this video. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick. And all these black men just watch. And they don't give a f Yeah. This man, this man hit me. Grabbed a rock. And it hit me in my face. Face, I would have given my number. And all y'all just watched. What you want? 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 What you Literally, a man asked me for my number. I said no, and he he picked up a brick in front of so many men, and was like, "What are you gonna do?" And I told all these men, like, "Yo, why is this man got a brick on my face?" And he's he's holding a brick, and all these is watching, and nobody does nothing, and he hits me in my face, and they all just watch, and they let that get in the car. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? I don't understand. Like, I'm just trying to take my friend out from five years ago. Like, literally spending my whole money not bothering nobody. Like, what the fuck kind of shit is this? I'm in the parking lot just trying to buy some food. And, like, I'm literally like, why is this bossing up on me like this? And I'm looking at all these. They literally let this. Do all of this. They let them, like really like do all of that. I never thought it was gonna happen, yo. Like it's so wild. And he's gonna get away with it. He got in the car. He got away. He never gonna get caught. He's gonna move on. He's probably at an after party right now, having a good time. Do you feel good about yourself doing this to a woman? For what? Like. All this violence against black women is not okay. Like, what do I do to deserve this? Like, how, what is my defense against this? It's been 12 hours. I'm in the hospital. I'm getting discharged. 
I do have a concussion, so I gotta take it slow for the week. Unfortunately, I don't have the kind of job that's gonna give me that kind of grace, so, you know, I still got a mother, I still gotta teach, I still gotta work. <laughs> I really just want the best for everybody, and I don't know why people wanna kill me. I can't even chew food the next week. <laughs> I had a vacation that I planned six months ago for my birthday. I'm so afraid, like, I'm so afraid, like, why do people want to hurt me so bad? I really love my community and just to know that, like, people hate me to this level. And you know how I feel about my black sisters. You know how I feel about womanhood. You know how I feel about women in general. So I let the story sit. I always do that. You always do. For two reasons. Because when you jump on it too quick, you don't get all of the facts. True. And then I like for the story to unravel. So if I wait a little bit, I even have more to add to mm. it. I waited for the story. I sat on it. I saw it everywhere. And then I went in and i just said to myself you know what this has got to stop christina wait for the punchline guess what what liar liar pants on fire liar liar pants on fire I'm she serious. was serious not only was she telling lies she does this for a business to the point that she actually goes out there and puts up gofundmes she's cashed no. in gofundmes Twice. So she's sort of kind of a catfish. She's a fool. And she's a disgrace and she's not part of my womanhood no. community you see i don't like stuff like this mm -mm. it really makes me irritated i had to come back up here and tell you guys because i don't want to be giving her that grand voice on my platform no. and it's no. not true it's not true and this is what the other girl did what does she call so she herself the other girl that came out here talking about that uh the police no that she was a uh, trafficked kid that she was kidnapped yes. the other girl that said that she was kidnapped she charlotte or whatever her whatever name her name is you see how forgettable you are yeah black women and so <sighs> we come up and out for us all the time yes this is twice already back to back you make it harder for the ones that are distressed. Yeah. You make it harder for the ones that really are going through things. And so you know what's going to happen now? I'm just not going to come out here in these streets talking too much about anything. I will put the video of what I said. And I stand by it. Yeah. Because it could happen. I stand by it because yeah. it could happen. I stand by it for my women. For my sisters. For my black sisters. For my darker skinned sisters. Yes, I do. But I don't stand for lies. And that is something that I have to address. Yeah. Because in these YouTube streets, for me anyway, all I have is my word. Yeah. All I have is my name. That's it. That's the, that's the credit card I have. I don't have anything else. So I will never ever go out there and discredit anybody. No. And I will never go out there and cover a lie. I'm just so disgusted by her. But why though? Why? Money. Attention. And money. This one took it to the next step. The other one, attention or boyfriend or whatever. Because we don't the, want to say mental health. It has to stop. Mental no, health, I'm, mental not, health. I'm not even going with that. No. It's, it's gibberish. It's nonsense. 
because she was opening up GoFundMe's yes. and cashing in on this. So she knows what she's doing. 110%. Yeah. And apparently, she hit the guy first. Not that it's an excuse, but she hit the guy, and the guy was a white guy. Oh, no. Yes. You see, I don't care. You see, once I know the truth, I'll call it out. Yeah. I'm not afraid because I spoke on my truth, on what I was told. And like I said, I let it sit. I didn't let it sit enough, apparently, because she was telling lies. And Fumi Nation, I live for you. I love every single one of they you. They came back and told you. They said, Fumi, it's a lie. Fumi, wait, 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 it's a lie. Come and let them know. I was so hurt by that. Because there are sisters out here that really are going through yes, things. Yes, that indeed. are going through domestic abuse. Domestic that are going violence. through all, all kinds of violence. Yeah. And you spoil it for them. Well, you know what you don't. Because you know what? I'm going to take each case individually. Yeah. But I had to address this because I saw the numbers growing on this case. And I want you to know, liar, liar. Pants on fire. That's it. That's it. That's all I can say. That's all yeah, I can so say. You a liar. Yeah, you're a liar. Liar, liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. And guess what? Every single time, I'm going to put you on blast. Yes, we're going to put you on blast because you are playing with our emotions yes. and you think that you can ride on our intelligence. It's not acceptable. Unacceptable. How about those? Unacceptable, sis. No, unacceptable, miss. Upon reflecting, when you think about it, Why? nobody went to her aid. That was kind of funny. Because she is known out here in these streets. And the thing here, Mama, is that you don't have a community with us. No. Not anymore. You don't have a community with us. Because you see us, we stand on integrity. Yes. We stand on principle. We stand on ethics. Yeah. And you have none of those. Pretty much. You and girlfriend over wherever talking about that she was kidnapped. The two of you, you don't have any integrity. No. None whatsoever. No respect for yourself. None, no, f f no respect. Well, that's why she got no respect. To gain respect, you have to give respect. You have to earn it. You have to earn it. You have to earn it to get it. And that's where you're at. And so now when you get attacked and now when things happen to you and you wonder why, it's because you do stuff yes. like this. Because I will never, ever, ever, ever discredit my brothers. By the way, brothers, I apologize to you for this isolated incident. Mm. Because now I know the truth. And it was not of your doing. And I'm big enough, humble enough, yes. oh yes, to say, I'm sorry. Because I am the sorry. the story you covered with the, at the dock, where they came for the brother. And yes, the Riverside Docks. Yes. That was the point I made, yes. that they came over and really helped the captain, because he's also a captain that came off of the boat to now steer the, the boat in. And I have never seen it. It was beautiful to watch, but I haven't seen it for a woman. No, no. I haven't seen it for a woman. And you, you spoil it for others. How dare you? Who do you think you are? I will address you the way that you addressed yourself. Yeah. You're a hot mess. And you're not part of this community. No. End of. Ladies, gentlemen, don't forget to like, to subscribe. Hit the notification button below. And we will see you when? Sooner than later. All of my love. <laughs> did Ulla take pictures? He did. He, he did? did? Yes, he did. Are you sure? Yes, it was very fabulous. I remember. Alrighty. Ready to go. Ready to Next go. Next one. This is a beautiful job you are doing, sis.